<laughs> Hang on. Give me... Well, let me just fix this. Are you about to turn on your camera too, bro? Oh, no, I'm just, I man. You're, about to, you're good. You don't have to. I thought you. I thought okay, that's yeah. what you were about to do. I was like, whoa. No, no, no dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't. Uh, I showered very early today, and I look hideous. So okay. So when you shower late, you look better. Is what you're saying? Uh. Like, no, it's you just, look best uh, right after the shower, or does it take like an hour or two? Yeah, no, I mean like uh, I've been uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff um, since I showered, so I I look I look hideous now. I look very oily and everything, you know. I feel that. I, feel that. <laughs> I don't yeah. really get oily for some reason. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> but I will say that my hair looks best after not showering for like two days. Wow. <laughs> or at least, or maybe not showering, but I still shower, but I don't wash my hair. I don't yeah, wash yeah, my yeah, hair yeah. for like two days. Yeah. And that's like prime hair day. That's what it's yeah, at. They, some, somebody told me that I should not be like uh, washing my hair, especially with uh, shampoo for, yeah. for every day. Yeah. Yeah, man, don't wash it yeah. every day, bro. That's bad for your hair. I mean, yeah, you kind of have straight, you have straighter hair than me, so it's not as big as a deal. But for like curly hair guys like me, you can't wash oh. it every day or else it just frizzes out. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> I know I only have you for a few minutes. Bro, Sorry, thoughts? Dude. $3 million prize pool, bro. Oh, dude. Uh, I think, um, yeah, I guess it's fine to talk about it now, but the, um, some of the people that I was able to talk to after the uh, MPL ID playoffs already told me that, um, okay, M5 is happening, but what you need to be excited about was MSC because I think that somebody revealed it to them early. That's mm -hmm. why people in uh, uh, the, the people that I talked to in Indonesia, although they wanted to win M5 badly, they also want to win MSC right after. So that it's it's kind of like they're preparing for the long term. Like they're preparing for two tournaments afterwards, and yeah, there was yeah. so much hype about it. Uh, my thoughts about three million. Finally, come on, dude. I'll be happy to. Uh, I, I mean, if it. If it means that every MSC or M series will be held outside of Southeast Asia, if that's what it takes, if that's dude, what it takes. Run it. If that's what it takes, it, it takes to have three million um, prize pool every time. I'm I'm all up for it. You know. Okay. So <laughs> one. So do you? So I we were talking about this with MSC mm -hmm. now being three million. Mm -hmm. If M six does not top that. Is MSC the new golden standard? Like, is that where we? Is that where people are going to consider <laughs> these are the best? You know, because so us, far yeah. MSC has always kind of been like the. Um, yeah. It's like it is important, yes, but for example, like last year when Indo won MSC, it was still until they win an M series, they cannot be yeah. crowned champions of the world. You know, yeah. but with MSC now being the largest, grandest event in a sense. Does it now? Is it the crown jewel, you know, of MLB yeah. now? Absolutely for me, and I say that because as viewers, obviously we want the world title, right? But if you're if if you're thinking from a point of view of a player in a in a an or uh, an organization, for example, if you're gonna be investing a lot of stuff, obviously you're gonna invest to the tournament that grants you the best uh, price. That's just how it is, and. Um, like for now, you would imagine like Onik, as well as uh, AP Bren. After knowing what they know, um, about the MSC, you see that they didn't move any other pieces because they know that it's a. It, like I said, they were like, "Oh damn!" Teams are, yeah. yeah, they're they're like, "Oh damn!" We have to think about it in a two tournament kind of setting where, yeah, surely we want to win M five. Yeah, maybe but at the we same don't... time we. We don't make any yeah. huge roster changes right now, right? Exactly. Would, because now it's normally teams start, you know, beginning year. Maybe you make your big changes so you have the full year to uh, yeah. to be ready for M series. Exactly. But now you have to exactly. think you're like, oh crap, uh, we yes. gotta, we, we might just want to try to keep things the same and run for this because this is, I mean, yeah. it's largest largest prize pool ever in MLB history. Yeah. If if um. If Saudi or if Riyadh, Saudi Arabia does not whiff this whole esports World Cup thing, um, 
I think it's going to be huge. Like I was looking and sure. I, I went on, I was on the esports <clears throat> world cup website earlier and stuff. And this is like their annual thing. We're the first game announced yeah. so far, but they're going to, it's going to be like, it's going to be eight weeks long. Um, it's yeah. going to be multiple different genres of games. And they're also going to have some sort of point system for, uh, yeah. for clubs and organizations. So like, for example, if Blacklist International has a, um, they have a Valorant team, they have a Mobile Legends team, they have multiple teams and multiple yeah. different genres. And if they do very well, like the goal of this, it seems like for the whole esports World Cup thing, is to see not just what the best teams are for each genre, but what the best club is, right? Like what the yeah, best sure. organization is. And they're gonna have like a point system depending on how many genres you get top in or score so high in, yeah. which that can also encourage other orgs to invest into mobile like invest into mobile yes. like if they don't have a team in MLBB it's like oh well if i want to do really well at the esports world cup i have to be in more genres which is also exactly really cool. exactly i mean i can uh, i can imagine now for example uh, let's just say t1 right or or maybe a chinese org actually because that's how they uh, think about uh, they, that's how they always view these uh, federation based kind of tournaments or you know big circuits um, for example in nation games right uh, as China, what they did was to um, choose all of the games that they can be successful with. And if they, uh, if there are esports titles that they don't have a team yet, they're gonna get the the best in the business, and then they're gonna deploy those because they badly want to win. And I I, I tell you now, organizations, especially like you know co country based organizations, they like all they they like winning. Um, yeah. these awards like ha just having you know being help being um, considered as the best organization right and that that's they wanted to go for that so I think that there there's this big chance where big names like I don't know Team Secret Team Liquid yeah for yeah sure. they'll definitely invest like uh, I'm seeing like Nigma Galaxy for example those are the names like especially the organizations that uh, that were um started by saudi organizations if that makes sense or yeah, uae yeah, yeah. organizations because well it's their region and they also have a lot of money and they want to prove that um that they can be part of that and i mean it only takes them a little bit of their big pot of money to get a mobile legends team it should not be like a, you know, yeah, it's, Mobile Legends it's, it's, team is probably like them. one of the cheapest teams you could make right now. Exactly. Right? For, exactly. Uh, and for the payout, it's probably one of the best. Like when it comes to like yeah. uh, if you make a good team and it can now with this too. Yeah. If I was if I was a big org and I saw that three million dollar prize, I'd be like, all right, let's make a team right now. We got yeah, we got absolutely. we got eight months to boot camp, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, run it. Run. They're <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna well, if they wanted to make it make it like a, a Saudi or a you know a NA team. Western or, or NA, NA team, NA team. <laughs> dude, they're gonna they're gonna take it and then they're gonna be importing. They're gonna be offering a lot of people with uh, enough money to for them to to get there, dude. Uh, I think uh yeah, they're this, as much as they can, they will do it. Honestly, this would be probably the perfect time for any org to invest into an NA team. Because if you got some of the top, like if you made a super team and you were an org, you're almost guaranteed the NA slot. Like oh. it's an easy region, you know what I'm saying? It's an it's, it's essentially it is true. Like if you get the five best players, it's an easy region to pretty much get the number one slot. So you know your org is going to be at this. Yeah, that's a smart way to actually look at that. Then, yeah. Same thing for yeah. like certain other regions. Like if you went to like a smaller region and you know you have the money to invest and get some of the top players, you know, it's, yeah. it's a thought. <laughs> yeah. If I if I owned an org, that's what I would be looking at, but I don't. Aren't you like You're a rich right. caster, bro? Come on, man. No, dude. <laughs> it's a man. I, I I wanted to make an actual. You know, I'm holding back so much on making so much my money. own podcast so that I'll explain <laughs> why this richest caster thing is <laughs> not true. You know. I feel Come that. Come on, man. Uh, the the, uh, the podcast so is doing well though, man. Big props. Yeah, bro. thanks, man. Thanks, I, man. I almost are, are English subs on all of it, or did you just start adding English subs to the um, Filipino I, ones? Yeah, I just started. Uh, I was gonna yell at you about that actually, because I saw a clip of one of your po the podcast with Flap Teasy, and I thought you didn't yeah. have English subs on there. So I went to yeah. your channel real fast and was like, "Does he have English subs?" And I was like, "Oh, he does." 
I was yeah. Because, like, okay. for example, guys like me who like to watch stuff, we can't watch it unless you have the sub. Yeah. So I appreciate That's right. it. So, oh, thanks, man. But, um, so, well, while I'm here, um, the thing is for, for the, for the translations for the subs, I thought, you know, there, there was a time was where I was a transcriber actually, like maybe six, seven years ago as nice. one of my side gigs. Um, when I'm doing like what, uh, a 30 minute transcription that takes me two days oh, that's rough, like yeah. or wait yeah because it's difficult and then when i tried it with my podcast which what, what one hour and a half to two hours dude it's it's a lot of time so what so you're I saying to, is you're hiring a transcriber right now i am i am and it's uh how to say this i it's it's expensive in a way yeah so i do hope that um that, that's what my promise was for all the viewers like um yeah, uh, surely um maybe the process will be slower this year or this month, but maybe when the YouTube money kicks in, I'm gonna be using that for you know for improving the channels. Like, you know, I'm using what I earned from the channel to improve it. So um for now, please be please bear with me if the uploads are slower. Um hopefully in the next you know if if the if the channel earns enough, maybe I'll get a, a team I would, to quickly transcribe. I would say transcribe. what you could do is, and I know you're running out of time, so last last whole thing. Yeah. What you could do is maybe make a post and just look for people who are willing that are like uh, that have yeah. faith in your channel because you have great great growth. And maybe instead of offering them money up front, offer them you know for the time being until the channel grows, offer them a yeah. ad revenue. Uh, like be like, listen, yeah. get, I'll give you ten percent if you if you subscribe and like. Because I was also saying what you could also do is start getting – because a lot of podcasts are doing reels. Like if you get someone to clip reels out of your yeah. channel and stuff, like pretty much get one of these clippers like iKel or Zekel, like one of these guys who make clips regularly. Be like, listen, yeah. join join the team. If you have faith in the podcast, which right now I think you are – in my opinion, I think you're like the upcoming MLBB podcast. I think you're the only one that's oh. like fully committed to it. Um, Thank you. I was an editor <laughs> – I feel like that, like if I was a video editor, I'd be like, yeah, I, I would invest, I'd invest some time into that as long, like yeah. if you're willing to, you know, give me 10% of ad revenue for the next year and I'll fucking grind with you, man, you know, and we'll see if we can make something big. It's smart. Yeah. That might be your best pitch really. And then you're not really losing money. Yes. If your channel blows up in three months and you're making a couple hundred bucks off of everything, then you're losing a little something, but I think it's worth it to have yeah. a loyal team member, you know? Yeah, true. And then they're they're motivated to do good yeah, because exactly. if they do good, they make they, more. They earn more. <laughs> wow, Mr. Mr. Wagner. I got you. Thank bro. you for the advice. Pitch it. <laughs> Throw it out to some people. Put it on your channel. Be like, I'm looking for some whatever. Right. You know, think about it. It's a thought. All right, think about it. All right, dude. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you um, for jumping on for a second. I, yeah, yeah. Anytime, dude. So do you usually stream at this hour? Um, this is about my time. Anywhere from uh, like 9 p.m. I normally try to go a bit later, so like 10 p.m. Okay. is normally start time. I haven't. I've been really enjoying family time since now that it's off season and everything. That's great. I should great. be grinding more, as you can see. Like my viewers have dropped tremendously because I took so much time off. But um, yeah. but I'm trying to get a bit back into like the flow of things. Yeah. I've also been like helping a team out with a few things, and I'm wow. looking into possibly. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. I'm thinking about maybe coaching. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see. That's gonna be exciting. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, nothing. Nothing's right. definite yet, but we'll see. Yeah. What What time is it uh, out there? It's almost one a.m. It's four minutes to one. Almost twelve okay. fifty six. Oh yeah. So it's your. You guys are thirteen hours. I think. Uh, behind? Yeah. Thirteen or, hours behind. Or, depends. Or depends when uh, daylight. If it's daylight savings time or not. Normally we're twelve hours, and then sometimes we're thirteen. I see. Half of the year we're twelve. Half the year we're thirteen. Yeah. All right, dude. Hey, good luck. And um, yeah, I'll drop by again. So maybe if I see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, man. Much love. All right, man. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. That's that's Mr. Wolf. Bro, we're we're getting.